Third and goal to go, right hash mark of the four. Trips to the left, Tom drops back, steps up. Brady's going to run, Brady is going to score! Touchdown Patriots! Straight ahead, TV 12 for six! And he spikes it! We got life! We got a pulse! Get on his back, boys, get on his back! Tom Brady is one of the most passionate athletes in any sport today. And that passion is what makes watching him so compelling. Nothing makes me lean into my TV more than when Brady makes a great throw or a big play, because I know there's a good chance that he's gonna go completely crazy, just like he did when he spiked that football. In this video, I'm going to look at what drives that intensity and passion in Tom Brady, what effect those things have on his teammates, and what they say about Brady himself. Yes! Yes! Now, at this point, some of you might be wondering, who gives a shit? Maybe you hate Brady and the Patriots, maybe you hate football, or maybe you just don't care about sports. Well, here's my argument. Tom Brady is a major American icon. How can you tell? Well, for starters, he's a superstar athlete who's married to a supermodel who's also an international fashion icon in her own right. Brady's done plenty of endorsements, and you've probably seen him in commercials over the years or the odd movie cameo. But the main thing is that for over 15 years, he's been the face of the most popular sport in America. He's also won five Super Bowls. Five. That's more than any other quarterback in the history of the sport. And he ranks in the top five of just about every major statistical category. So he's not just good, he's great. And he's actually so great that for the past few years, commentators and pundits have been in a constant debate about whether or not he might just be the greatest of all time. The GOAT. Is Tom Brady <laughs> the best of all time, Mike? Is, is that a dumb question or what? He was already the greatest of all time when this happened. What this does is put distance between him and everybody else. Tom Brady is the greatest football player in the 97-year mm -hmm. history of the NFL. He's the best ever, man. There's nobody. When I was, well said. He's changing something that nobody's ever chased. Well he's said. chasing ghosts, man. He's chasing himself. Tom Brady's the GOAT quarterback. Period. End of story. Tom Brady, that's a mic drop. That's Udi Duty great. All of which is to say this. Analyzing Tom Brady's behavior and choices as an icon can have the same illuminating potential as something like dissecting the stylistic choices of a popular filmmaker. Let's go back to where we began and take a closer look at the way Tom Brady plays football with intensity and rage. First thing you may notice about Tom Brady is how unabashedly emotional he is. I mean, it's almost like he can't even contain himself. He just has to express it. It reminds me a lot of two other athletes. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! This might go in. Might go in. Might go in. It is in. Brady's emotion is completely genuine, so much so that at times it's almost a little uncomfortable. It's not dissimilar to how some people feel about watching Tom Cruise. Both Cruise and Brady have a level of commitment that borders on obsessive. And there's a naked intensity to them, like we're watching something we're not supposed to be seeing. That intensity is absolutely critical to understanding Tom Brady. Skip Bayless perfectly sums it up this way. I call him Psycho Tom. That's, that's the inside of Tom Brady. That's the guy who comes on the field that a lot of people can't quite compute. That's the guy when, when I see him emerge, it's like the little kid comes out of him, but it's like a crazed little kid. He does his little half pirouette, unathletic <laughs> jump on the sideline. And you say, uh-oh, here he comes. 
while many other players seem to be much more concerned with building their brand and with their personal image, Brady seems blissfully free from that. Of course, Brady does have his own brand, but when he's on the field, that doesn't matter. He's not thinking about how to self-promote. Winning will take care of that. And that lack of worry allows him to play the game with an unhinged, furious glee. Here's my favorite Psycho Tom moment. 2014, Patriots versus Packers. Late in the game, Brady throws a touchdown to bring New England within two. And Brady goes ballistic. Remember, this is a grown man. And this wasn't even the game-winning touchdown. And the Patriots lost this game. And when they did, here's how Brady reacted. I wonder what he's saying right there. There's no question that Brady is the emotional leader of his team, but there's a lot more to it than just going crazy after big plays. It's in the way he talks to his teammates during the game, how he rallies them. It's easy to see why they follow him. Let's get that spark back, huh? Let's get that fire back, it does. Pedal to the metal! No let up all night, all right? Hey, we ain't done, fellas! We ain't done, Shango! Come on now, we ain't done! We talked about that! Let's go again! Let's go again! One play at a time, guys! Hey! One play at a time! It's gonna be a great comeback, guys! It's gonna be a great comeback! We got this, huh? We got this, AD! We got this! Let's go now! Let's start showing some fight! We gotta be perfect, alright? Right, so good! Hey, take it to another level, alright? Got lock in now, laser focus! Let's go make a play, fellas! Let's go make a play! We gotta fight! We gotta lay down! Tom Brady is successful beyond most people's wildest dreams, but he still talks like someone who's been fighting his entire life. When most people get to his level, there's a natural complacency, but not Brady. Football fans already know the history. Brady had to fight for his starting job throughout college. No one thought he was good enough. He was a six round draft pick, number 199, and he only got the chance to play because Drew Bledsoe got injured. And yet 15 years later, he's still here. It's not a hard leap to see how those experiences could shape Brady into someone who doesn't get complacent, who doesn't take his success for granted. Somewhere in the midst of having to prove himself over and over, of people constantly doubting him, it just got burned out of his DNA. It's just not who he is. Because of how intertwined those personal and professional journeys were, when Tom Brady plays football, he's living out his life philosophy, one that was built layer by layer in season after season of adversity. There are two major components to that philosophy, both of which we saw on display earlier. Number one, play the game with your heart on your sleeve, with a deep well of emotion that's just waiting to come out. That's Psycho Tom, but it's also the Brady who hugs everyone on his team and who has a surprising tenderness and intimacy with the other players that you almost never see in football. And number two, never give up. No matter how hopeless it seems, no matter how the odds are stacked against you or who tells you you're never gonna make it, don't lose hope. Keep going, keep fighting. With that in mind, here's Brady himself talking about the end of Super Bowl 36. It's 1717. Well, my first thing is I go up to Charlie and I say, what are we doing? And he says, we're going. So I said, all right, what's the first play? So Charlie yells at me. He says, hey, take care of that ball. And Drew was kind of standing next to me and he kind of just shuffled in front of that. And he says, F that. Go out there and sling it. And here he is on the sidelines during two other Super Bowls. Hey, we've been in worse situations than this, huh? Let's go, boys, it's our time. We gotta play harder. We gotta play tougher, harder, tougher, everything. Everything we got. Hey, no fear. No fear, cut it loose. You might be thinking, Brady speaks in a lot of cliches, but you know what the difference is between him and nearly every other athlete? He genuinely believes in them. It's not placating or condescending. It's conviction. It's belief and it's infectious. 
His belief in his teammates inspires his teammates to believe in themselves, in each other. The essence of Brady's philosophy can be summed up in two very simple words. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! 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 It says everything, doesn't it? It's loud and emotional in that uniquely Brady way. And there's also a defiance to it that I just love. Refusing to give in, persisting against the odds, insisting on fighting to the very end. This is who Tom Brady is. As an athlete, as an icon, as a man. Win or lose, he's all in. That's how he became a starting quarterback in the NFL. That's how he became the face of the entire league. It's how he made it to seven Super Bowls. It's how he won five of them. And that's exactly how he rallied the Patriots in Super Bowl 51 to make the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. You know that moment when all seems lost? The moment most people give up, throw in the towel. That's the moment that Tom Brady is at his most dangerous because that's when he's just getting started. He doesn't always win, but that's not the point. The point is that losing and giving up are two very different things.